G'day guys. Thought that we could have a bit of a a bit of a fun time. I'm just going to go through Alibaba um, and have a look at uh, some of the uh, detectors, uh, specifically long range locators. This could be quite educational, just so I don't upset anybody selling this stuff. I'm going to basically keep everything as an opinion, right? Just my own personal opinion. And uh, you know, if I act, if I start bursting into fits of laughter, you'll probably understand. But um, yeah, I just typed in long long range locators and. Oh, there is one of the culprits has uh, popped up in the middle of the screen there. Uh, dear me. Okay, this is a this is quite interesting. Diamond detector. Okay, oh, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on it. Right there, it is there. It's a. I don't know if it's the same one because it's come up with a whole stack of them now. Oh my god, it's flooded. Flash discount, something or other. Remember I said it in my previous videos, things that look like ray guns with funny looking antennas on them? And yeah. Well, there we go. Here's another one. Have a look at this thing. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I'd love to see inside it. I really would. <laughs> ah, sugar. Ah, dear me. Hang on. Let's have a What does it do? Okay. Um, <laughs> It's a lightweight. I wonder why it's lightweight. Oh dear me! Um, portable long, portable long range locator. Professional underground three D scan gold diamond detector machine. Oh, this is the diamond detector. Okay, righto. Um, pray tell how it works. Picking up diamonds. Ah, I know how you do it. Those two things sticking at the front is uh, they're scoops and you scoop through the sand until it goes clunk and you detect a diamond or a rock or something. Oh no, here we are. <laughs> oh no. Look, look, I, I must disclose. There you go. I'm having a drink and it's definitely um, got eth ethanol in it, <laughs> right? So if, yeah, I might break out into fits of uh, laughter. I've just been slaving away here. Uh, doing detectors because people will start to say, where's my detector? And uh, I've been slaving away, finishing them off, and I'm having a drink. But uh, have a look at this. This this one, this one's interesting. Um, copper, silver, gold, and diamond. Oh, my God. What, what, a, what a doozy. Hmm. Um, yeah. Gee, even my lab can't make one of these. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, there's lots of them. Oh dear me! I'll tell you what. Once you get onto the subject of these things, they just keep popping up. But I did see some that I really I want to get onto on that last page. Um, like, hang on, have a look at this thing. Oh my god, fair income. Have a look at this thing with the three antennas on it. All right? Oh no, it's it's got this same power gold. Blah 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 blah. All right? Okay. Okay. It might, it might have a triple five in it, <laughs> flashing that LED. I don't know. Um, but if you ever open these things up and have a look in them, and you have a little bit of uh, electronics knowledge, you can, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, right? But. I will, I will give you the opinion of that you'll never see me if one of these things in my possession. Never, ever, ever. Uh, but um, the, the real gold, it's called. The real gold. Yeah, in colour only. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. It, it really baffles my brain that um, this stuff is... Made available to the uh, clueless 
in general, a, a lot of people are clueless on this stuff. I'm not being rude or nasty. They just don't understand. And they very, very um, naive and they just believe what they're told. Look at this thing here, you know. It looks like it, you know, it's come off a Area 51 spaceship, you know, really. They hate, look, I'll tell you what, they hate me doing stuff like this. But, you know, what, what, what on earth? Dear me. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, God, they're all over the place. But, no, I'll tell you what, uh, look, I'm, pro I'm probably trying to do a community service here. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> oh, God, here we go. <laughs> look at this one. Uh, yeah, we don't need to see the video, but uh, look at that. What's that? My favourite Martian. Um, two extendable uh, antennas, and uh, yeah, lots of knobs and buttons, and yep, fantastic. How much they want for that? Oh, it's only it's only US six hundred and fifty dollars. Got everyone can afford to buy one, and. Uh, Oh my God! Look at this. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, this is. Oh dear! What's that? Hawkeye. <laughs> they must have watched watched Mash um, from the nineteen sixties. You know, Hawkeye. Uh, yeah. God, unbelievable. Okay. I I wish, I wish, I could understand the mindset. I really do. Uh, my God. I haven't said anything bad. I haven't said anything bad. I just think it uh, is a bit um, out there. Oh, dear me. Now, can you watch TV on it? It's got antennas. Uh, Jesus won't save you <laughs> this product is temporarily unavailable oh they must have sold out damn jesus christ oh dear me no fair dinkum I, I just can't get over it well this one's got a nice red trim on it so yeah charlie's come and stuck her head in here to have a look what do you want your pliers okay This one's called Black Hawk. Probably comes with helicopter blades on it or something. But no fair income. Um, I am, uh, yeah, completely. I don't know. Search trends. There we go. No, I, I, I'm. I'm absolutely amazed at all this strange stuff. You know. Like I say, I'm not going to give anyone a reason to uh, go crazy and uh, start pointing the, uh, you know, the evil bone at me or anything like that. But, yeah, you know, look, there's something there. Oh, it looks like actually looks like a metal detector. It probably, probably is. You know, anything like this, anything with, um, God, that was quick. Uh, anything that has a coil on the end of it, something like that. Oh. That's uh, Gold Seekers. That uh, is the same company that that are making that uh, GDX ninety eight hundred, uh, um, a bit similar to something else out there. But uh, God, have, have a look at uh, it's got audio on it. It's just the same shape and um, the bracket size on that is basically like something else we know. I'm um, yeah. I think uh, 135 US, what is it? If you want to buy bulk of them, uh, 50 pieces, 120 US. It probably works the same as uh, any other VLF detector. Uh, so instead of spending, you know, six, 650 bucks to $1,000 odd, you could probably buy one of these. I'm not going to uh, vouch for it because I've never had one in my hands, but. That's probably all right, I suppose, uh, for 
you know, popping around the park. Uh, oh, probably, probably the gold field depends. Just all depends. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So there's a few um, different versions of it there. I think they're yeah, they're all got um, uh, the wireless speaker, so they're all got a little Bluetooth setup. And uh, yeah, oh, there you go. You get this one here. It's down to ninety US, probably in volume. Yeah, Gold Hunter. It's got a three-year warranty. The only thing I will say about warranty, and I don't know why um, our Chinese friends haven't picked up on the warranty issue, is that if you want to buy something from China and it's and it stops working, uh, it costs a lot of money to send it back to China. So the warranty issue should be taken care of. Um, by service centres in the countries where these things are sold to. So, yeah, what, what do you do uh, if it stops working? Um, yeah, it's just one of those things that I'll bring up. Even though it looks nice and everything, it you know, you, you could have an issue. Um, I think uh, someone once said, why don't you offer to do the warranty services on these and basically I think I said that I would go broke because uh, the time and effort like you know these things are made in China very very cheap labor a lot cheaper than here or anywhere <laughs> just about and what would actually happen is that uh, you'd end up probably you know spending as much labor on trying to repair something like this as a good uh, proportion of its actual initial cost. So that is something they have to work on. Wow, look at all those coils. Wow, this is interesting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think I might have to move. I'll move this around a little bit because I'm missing some of them. There we go. Now, some of those uh, coils look uh, very much, I suppose coils look like coils. But yeah. Wow, looks like um, a lot of stuff I've seen before, and yeah, look at that there. That that actually looks like a um, well, I think I, it actually looks like a colorization of how DTEC do their coils. That one there, and we got um, you know standard mine lab type. Uh, the camo coil, I wonder who makes that. Then you've got these ones down here, and very, very uh, similar uh, in uh, design. I'm not going to say the same, I'm going to say similar in design to other things that are on the market. And there we are, it just showed who, who um, made it, but uh, we'll make that video. There we go. It's Chibo. So uh, it's probably flicking through quite fast, but yeah. Uh, Chibo, look at it. It's got a lot of pick and place machines, um, all sorts of uh, stuff for making circuit boards. Yeah, well, there you go. It's a pick and place machine. A Juki. They're not, they're not bad. I've got a Siemens one kicking around HS60 somewhere, but uh, um, in storage. But yeah, um, there you go. Yep, that's Chibo. Um, I've seen pictures of this before. My son went there and uh, visited uh, Chibo, and they took him out to lunch. Lucky him. And... Uh, yeah, he saw all this. He's uh, seen uh, the whole thing. So, yeah, this is basically where that um, GDX uh, 9800 uh, is going to come from as well. Yeah, I haven't gone looking around for this sort of stuff, so I'm sort of reading it as well while I'm looking at it. Uh, look at all the detectors they make. 
I know this is a newish one here, this GDS 2000. Uh, that actually has a fairly good reputation, believe it or not. Uh, this is another new one too. Um, I've been offered some of these detectors. Um, I've sort of uh, just held off a bit. These ones here, um, I know the base circuit in these things here, and they've been upgraded with a digital display, LCD display. And yeah, um, very, very simple, easy to operate. But uh, yeah, so cheap. So, so cheap. God, there's so many of them, isn't there? The whole market is flooded with detectors. It really is. And just think, think about this. you got your detector shops over here, uh, you know, selling, selling um, mainly, mainly mine lab, um, you know, a bit of uh, um, Garrett stuff, uh, odds and sods. But you don't really see a lot of this sort of stuff. Well, the thing is, I haven't walked into a detector shop for years. I think the last time I ever walked into a detector shop was Tony Mills's shop uh, in Denali, which is no longer there, and that hasn't been there for years. It was the old bank building. So that's how long since I've walked into a uh, detector shop. I think we bought um, a Nugget Finder 12-inch uh, Advantage coil at the time, and that was years ago. But anyway, um, yeah, there's the... Um, GDX 8000, uh, yes, um, basically same functionality as a uh, G GPX 4500, everyone knows that, it looks the same, and uh, if you go back into the history of uh, what happened to poor Coden, <clears throat> with, uh, yeah, you know, things are, uh, coming out of computer systems and ending up somewhere else, you'll, you'll understand the, the reason why they exist. If you want to read up the whole story, it's in the Australian Financial Review from a few years ago. Makes a good read, actually. But uh, this, this um, box here, uh, I've had these people have bought these. Um, you got to be careful where you buy it. Well, I shouldn't even say you should be careful where you buy it from. But there are multiple uh, companies over there making this sort of box, um, the blue box. And some of them uh, will say some of them are functional, as you expect them to be, and others um, are totally ridiculous uh they've got some vlf thing shoved in there and uh i don't know if anyone has ever had success but the the pi ones uh yeah i don't want to talk about it too much it's just i'm not going to say anything about it say you say if i said oh they, they work okay and then you bought one you'd blame me for saying it um and then if i said oh you know if i said something like um oh you know it's dodgy or something then you'd have you know i wouldn't be friends with the chinese anymore so i gotta be careful what i say you know where i'm coming from so yeah, a lot of these detectors they work fine um you know these uh vlfe types and i'll, I'll tell you one thing um uh, that a lot of people just say they're all blatant knockoffs some are but a lot of them aren't because um, the, there's some people over there that are very, very clever and absolutely know how to make metal detectors, 100%. They know what they're doing. So they, uh, yeah, that looks a bit familiar from years ago. But yeah, these, um, these things work. And these, these um, newish looking ones, F2, oh dear me. Uh, yep. The F serial numbers, it sounds like Fisher, doesn't it? But uh, a lot of it, they actually do develop themselves. And, I, you know, like I say, I don't know why. I don't know why it, they're not just outright differently branded and made to look a lot different than similar 
detectors. This one here, I don't think anyone, this GDS 2000, this is the one they were raving about. And um, it, it uh, works, well, it's going to do a video, but it, do, it does work. It works um, fine. Uh, do you want some audio on this? Um, here we go. Oh. Highly sensitive metal detector. Okay. Um, it does work, but like I say, I haven't had one in my hand, so I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, that's um, obviously I've, I've ended up on all Chibo stuff. So the GDS 2000. Now, you got to remember, I'm not plugging any of this stuff. I'm not saying anything about it. It's, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, if you want to resell them, <laughs> 100 pieces for 160 US each. Uh, yeah, make up your own mind on this stuff. But it, it is there. Have a look at the specifications on it. There we go. Um, all metal mode, metal discrimination mode, and precision mode. I take that that's probably some sort of pinpointing mode. Maybe they just crank the gain right back or something and... Uh, or raise the frequency would be another way of doing it uh, to really ping on small stuff. Don't know. Working frequency, it says 12.8 kilohertz. So it's not super high and it's not low. It's right in the middle. It's around, you know, 10 to 20 kilohertz is probably a, a medium target size sweet spot for VLFs. Uh, standard coil, 5x10, double D. Yes, double D. No monos on those. Uh, wide headphones. Da -da 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 -da. Run, runs on six AA batteries or two 9 volt batteries. So you have a choice. So, yeah. Target ID, 1 to 100, whatever. They probably have a book that says that's that and whatever. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, these things are there. Um, generic charger. Comes with a backpack. Um, they have a three-year warranty. Um, yeah, place of origin in Guangdong, Guangdong, if I say it properly, that's where Jason is at the moment. Jason's in Guangdong, my son, uh, one of my sons, he's over there, uh, visiting his, uh, Chinese girlfriend. And, uh, yeah, I've sent him on missions around China, having a look at stuff and, you know, having a chat here and there. So it'll help him, you know, polish his Chinese, he's learning. So. Yeah, very, very good. Yep, definitely it was a Chibo there for a minute. Back into the factory. And, uh, yeah, all these um, detectors. There's so many. Uh, God, I didn't know um, actually Chibo had so many detectors. I thought they only had like maybe five or six, but I think they've probably got more like 50. So it is interesting um, that there's just so many. The only... The only issue with the Chinese really penetrating the Western markets, I think, really, is the uh, warranty return issue. And if they if they actually did address that and had service centres in in uh, various countries, then they would start gaining a lot of market share because you can't compete against uh, some of this stuff. Now, you know. A lot of people go, oh, it's Chinese, it's rubbish, it's this and that, yes. Um, but the thing is, it's changing. It's exactly, I'll tell you what, it's doing a mirror image of Japan in the 1960s. In the 1960s, the Japanese made junk, except for their copy Gibson electric guitars, which were made better than the uh, uh, Gibson ones, in my opinion. Right, only in my opinion, and then there's all those lawsuits over that. I think it was sixties and seventies that all happened. Uh, anyway, um, I've I got some of those. Uh, well, I had some, should I say, of those Japanese um, uh, guitars. They're very, very good quality. Uh, the, the later ones are very good, and 
And same thing will go for the electronics. Japanese electronics back in 60s, 70s, and not the 80s, but, you know, 60s was, was iffy. It was very, very um, boxy and not very good. And you could say the Chinese stuff, you know, we're talking probably, uh, you know, going back, you know, 20 years ago was a bit so-so, and now it's getting quite good. So, you know, you got to be careful that uh, old wives' tales uh, aren't perpe perpetuated to say things are just the same all the time. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, you know. Have, have a look at um, electric vehicles, how, you know, they've come along. At first, they were, you know, they were forklifts, <laughs> you know, and now they're very efficient and uh, they still catch on fire occasionally, which is a bad thing. But, um, you know, the, the, the whole thing's improved. And you've got to say it with the metal detectors. They have improved. Uh, if I actually did get some of these and test them, I, I bet you they work fine. Uh, but like I say, they have to address the warranty issue with these detectors. And that, that's my opinion on it all. You know, people may not like it, but, you know, hey, I'm not here to gain friends. I just want to say it as I see it. Um, you know, unlike politicians who will say anything to be your friend. Uh, and I'm not going to get drawn on politics. So, yeah, that's um, that. Actually, I just wonder if that uh, other detector is listed. Get on there. Uh, let's have a look for G, D, X, 9800. No, nah, can't find what I'm looking for. So obviously, um, I got the info on that detector way before. Probably they, they really wanted to put it out there, damn it. But, uh, oh, well, things were lost in translation. I can't do anything about it. It's out there. Um, yeah. Yep, zip, 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 with a ring. Actually, you get further distance if you hold the ring um, the other way at 90 degrees to the way you're doing it. So next time you do that, and we'll pick it up about 10 times the distance. Uh, but anyway, that, that proves to me that it probably is fairly sensitive. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should buy myself a, uh, a VLF-type detector. Uh, to go whizzing around the parks and uh, looking for coins. I used to do all that stuff years and years ago. I had all sorts of VLF detectors. Found a lot of uh, American Army um, artifacts from when uh, the Americans were here in Ballarat in uh, 1942, 43. Found uh, a lot of stuff um, where they were camped. There was thousands of them here. They had uh, um yeah quite uh i don't know how many were here exactly it's probably probably somewhere around five thousand uh probably expecting the japanese come marching in through um new guinea and down our way and i i, I don't know I haven't, I haven't really looked into all that stuff but yeah there's a lot of artifacts um where they were camped on victoria park and I remember, this is, I went uh, when I went detecting there it was probably back in the mid 90s 1990s I found so much artifacts and none of it was deep it was all down half an inch it was just amazing uh, all sorts of uh, military uh, badges and insignias and lapel pins and St Christopher's and all sorts of stuff American coins um, all that sort of stuff so anyway um, I was going to go on about these um, things with antennas on it, uh, like like that. Um, gold, silver, gem, diamond scan. Mm, I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm going to put it very simply for you guys looking at this stuff, right? And I'll sum it up um, when I look at this stuff, and I'll just say my brain hurts, okay? Uh, USD, 450 bucks for that. I'd rather go and buy um, four 
Chibo VLF detectors for the same price. Uh, that will give you an idea of my way of thinking. Warranty one year. I just want to make make sure that they're not coming out from these are not coming out from any of the companies I know over in China. No, I don't know anyone in Shanxi, so that's uh, fine. I just got to be got to be careful if uh, certain areas pop up like Guangdong or Shenzhen or uh, um, the other place I can't pronounce, but uh, up near Beijing. But uh, yeah, I, he, these little things here, have a look at this. I'm going to tell you something about these. This is the upgraded version. It's, it's got some nice bright blue on it and uh, yellow. You won't believe this, but this type of detector here, which I can't remember, the, it must have a number on it somewhere. Ah, yeah, I know. That's the one. Tiak Sun, Tiak, however you say it. Um, that's the other company. They have they have about a hundred different detectors, but this detector here, this thing, they're all the same inside, and this actually works on our hot gold fields. It works, and I think there. Look, years and years ago, there was the same sort of thing, and uh, Jack Lang was bringing these over and. I remember I used to do, I had to do one little modification to it or something. There was something I did to it. Uh, I changed, I changed the resistor or a capacitor. This is so long ago, I can't ever remember. But I think I had to change a resistor or a capacitor in one of these to make them behave a little bit better. But now that maybe it defeat, I think um, Jack was dealing with the company over there. Uh, this is years and years. This is a long time ago. And, uh, I think I uh, gave them the feedback and they started making them that they would work on the Australian gold fields. These work on the Australian gold fields. They actually do. And look out here. You can buy one for 60 US dollars, so 100 bucks. Um, Australian, whatever it costs to send it. Uh, Depex economy. Uh, through, through Alibaba. So, yeah, it would be, it'd be on the cheap subsidized side of things. Um, and you could use it as a cheap detector that'll work on uh, gold fields. No problem. Uh, it's not going to go deep, but if you've got a very small little uh, target. And the other thing too, I remember Jack had a video out um, where he put a small piece of gold next to a piece of iron and it would still register the gold. You take the gold away and it um, wouldn't register the, the iron. And you put the gold back with the iron, and it would and it would say it was gold there again. So that was uh, quite novel for that that detector. And if you have a look at these, these are the same. All these things here, are the same base um, electronics, even though it, you know, obviously they all look a little bit different. But the base electronics is the same. Oh, the yeah, MD five oh nine O's, MD five oh one O, all that series. Um, it just has basically the same electronics in it. So being there, done that. Um, and if you want a cheap detector that will work on the gold fields, um, now I'll put the audio on, have a listen to it. Oh, I've got music. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. I don't want the music because you know what will happen if you have music on a, um, um, a YouTube video. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. There you go. Have a look at that thing. Um, discrimination, sensitivity, volume, how, low battery earphones. Very, very basic, but they do work. They actually, oh, I know these work. I know they work for a fact that they actually work on the Australian goldfield. Very strange to say that, and obviously you can use them down the beach and that. They're not the best metal detector. They're not going to go super deep. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're working beach sand, It'll pick rings up easy, probably to six or eight inches down. Uh, it's not going to go, you know, deeper. You know, you pick up old Coke cans down at a foot, <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, there you go. It's the same thing. It's two two nine volt batteries go in it, one on each side of the uh, the stem, and uh, yeah, battery's not included. Yeah, 
But if you have a look at here, these are the um, other ones that I used to get in, uh, which same company, they get back here. They, they do work. This one here is a bit more advanced. Looks like something else, but uh, it's not. The same base circuitry is in these as well. And it will work. Uh, that's a really basic thing here. Like, that is a basic, basic unit there. Remember I said you can get them for these cheap prices? Uh, I'm not going to say too much. Remember I did mention uh, the 18 US dollars? Um, but you don't have to buy a thousand to get them for 18 US dollars. They that you can get less for that price if you want to import these over. Uh, that's um, yeah, the one up near Shanghai. So there's a whole heap of these things, and anything that looks like this um, will work on our gold fields, and it is just completely amazing that they do. Because you remember back in the um, very early days when we had uh, Garrett detectors over here that were being, the VLFs that were being used over in uh, uh, Western Australia, and the guys said they don't work on our gold fields, they can't handle mineralization. And Charles, Charles Garrett, who started Garrett up, uh, had to fly over here and uh, brought uh, detectors and the, that sort of stuff with him. And I uh, said, oh, you are right, they don't work. I had to go back uh, with uh, soil samples from Western Australia and do some modification, extending the ground balance range on the uh, detectors. And that was back, God, that was 1970s, I think. 19, yeah, it would have been 1978 around there. People from, you know, people who work at Garrett possibly look at these uh, videos. You can chime in and you know, if you know more of the story, but uh, I get everything secondhand, uh, especially because a lot of the people back then aren't around anymore, so it's just passed down. But uh, I heard it years ago as well when those when people were around still, so obviously it's uh, true. So yeah, these basic things here will work. Like I say, not the best, of course. Um, and the other thing too. Have a look at the um, ratings and reviews. Um, there you go. Look, it's someone. Uh, I'm. I'm very satisfied with this metal detector. Translated from Russian. Uh, classy. <laughs> okay. And someone said okay. Uh, anyway, there's, there's a lot of. Uh, real reviews if they've only got one or two reviews just be a bit you know wary but uh yeah sales amount what oh god i don't know um warranty one year yeah so that they have all this um stuff and like some of this stuff here it's been proven it's been around for at least these designs have been around for at least 20 years and uh they work back then, they should still work now, if not um, have been improved. So, you know, you can, oh God, look at that. Look at the price of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that price there, $14 for that detector, That that is actually so cheap when considering you get all, you get the detector and some headphones. Uh, and that's actually, that's actually a unit, um, the coils. They are the coils that came with the detectors I was uh, uh, working on years and years ago. The uh, the, hand, the stemmy part of it, and that's different. Uh, however, that's meant to work. Yeah, it's different, but it's the same base unit. They are the same. I, I, I know they're the same. Uh, it's very interesting that uh, these things are still um, available, and I think you could... You could probably get them for this price. You'd probably get them for fourteen US. Um, I don't think you'd even you wouldn't have to buy a thousand. I reckon they probably do it for, for maybe twenty five units. But don't quote me on that. I just sort of um, know by previous dealings, you know, the price structure and you know if you can get it, get it. If you can't, well, you have to compromise a bit, aren't you? MD 
40-30. So, um, have a look at the feedback. Um, someone from the US, very good uh, factory of metal detector. Doesn't sound very American, but um, great price, works great. It's, yeah, it is a great price. Um, where's America? It is a courier. It is a courier fast. Ah. Americans don't speak like that. Uh, some some do, but <laughs> it works. Blade quality good. Um, can you tell that's been translated? Blade quality good. Very happy. Thank you. Recommended. But there will be real ones in here. The machines are excellent. I have received the package. Thank you very much for the service. I'm so happy and satisfied. Da, da, da. Uh, thank you, Evelyn. Uh, okay. Yep. So it is what it is. You know, I'm just going through these uh, Chinese manufactured detectors, just saying what's out there. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy. I actually got onto these. Um, even starting off looking at those uh, ray guns. Um, we'll call them the ray guns. I, I call them wallet burners. Um, but these detectors here, these actually, all these do work. They, they work okay. Don't expect too much because of the price. But, you know, if, if you're going to buy something and it's, you know, if you, the whole, the whole thing you get on your doorstep for 25 or $30, and it does its job great. And, you know, for some reason, it doesn't do what you expect it to. Uh, you could probably sell it and get your money back, you know. Just put it, put it on um, on Facebook Marketplace or something and you'd probably get your money back. But, yeah, uh, you know, cheap, cheap. Very, very cheap. Anyway, I've probably gone on long enough on these things. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I got triggered by the ray guns again, so I said I'll make a make a video about those things, that uh, what I thought about them, and uh, you know, and uh, if you happen to buy one, well, uh, it's on you, it's on you, but uh, yeah, like I say, I've had these before. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you for a fact, I've I've had these. Uh, hang on a sec. Yeah. Same, same sort of detector, looks a little bit different, uh, that they've redone the layout, but it'll be the same guts inside. And for what it was, it actually worked quite well. I was quite surprised. So as you can see, the price is a little bit more for these sort of things. They are, they are better. They um, definitely uh, are more grunty um, and a bit better on the build, especially on the circuitry on the inside. But yeah, these, these are pretty basic, I think. These are five transistors and two chips for memory, or three chips, something like that. It's not much in it, but what do you expect for like you know, if you can get them down to fourteen dollars each, um, that, that's so cheap. And uh, yeah, anyway, enough waffle on that stuff. Um, that's that's what it is. Have a cruise. You can find these on AliExpress as well. Um, on AliExpress, I'll have the price points there and, and the cost of actually getting it. Uh, a lot of them will uh, give you free shipping if you spend over fifteen dollars with them. So, and uh, that was a fifteen Australian dollars. So that might be getting close on twelve US dollars. So you get the free shipping, but you know it depends on size and uh, weight and all the rest. But yeah, all the uh, all the uh, dealers here are going to hate my guts, aren't they? They're going to say, "How dare you show everyone those cheap detectors?" Um, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. How dare you say that they work? They do work. They work, they work okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear me. What's that, what's that, um, saying? How, how to make friends and influence people. <gasps> okay. Anyway, you got the gist, but anyone wanting to get into the hobby, um, you can start off with one of these. And I'll tell you, even if you've got your $10,000 detectors and all the rest of it, uh, you know, you get, you want to go out there and, um, you know, seriously look for gold. I'll say this because it's happened to me before. What happens when you're in the middle of nowhere and your detector, for whatever reason, falls off the perch, stops working, whatever happens to it, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you've spent a fortune getting to where you are, um, 
get some of these old cho cheapo detectors. Just put a couple of them in your in your kit, and when your main detector fails, and you go, oh, I've got to go home now. No, hey, take these things out and run around and just just do um, uh, patch finding stuff like that. Just look for little surface targets and uh, get a GPS and record the uh, position. And next time you go there, you'll know where to go if you're big thing and uh, if when it's all up and working. But, you know, that sort of stuff I would do. Always keep keep a second detector, no matter what it is. Just keep one because um, you'll get into a position one day where, you know, this, I could I could I could drag up the past and uh, tell people horror stories about uh, particular detectors that all failed. Uh, but you know I'm going back early days and why dredge it up? you know it did happen, but I don't want to dredge it up because it'll just upset big companies that uh, were caught up in that sort of stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that. I think that's long enough on this subject anyway. So, yeah, anything with a coil on it, I would say, is a safe a safe buy for metal detecting. And anything that looks like it came off my favourite Martian uh, or looks like, um, you know, Mr. Colton Wesson to a degree or anything like that, stay, you know... <laughs> I don't know. Stay away. Be be dubious. Um, well, you know, if if I if if I see you running around in front of those in the gold field, I'm going to laugh my head off at you. Put it that way. But uh, you know, I I just know I just know what's what. You know what animals in the zoo. I know which ones that all um, are okay to. You know. Give them a bit of a pat in the head, and I know which ones will take your hand off, so or your wallet. Anyway, guys, catches.